Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a collective haul video. I just want to put a little disclaimer in the video um, just to say that all this stuff, it's a lot, <laughs> but it was all bought over the past month or two. It's not something that I just splurged and bought everything at the same time. So I just kind of wanted to put that disclaimer in because I don't want people to think that I'm crazy um, and that I spend my money like it's nothing and then I'm like, because that's not the case at all. But I just want to show you guys and share with you guys some beauty items and kind of give you guys little reviews on the things that I have tried already. So if you would like to see what I purchased, then just keep watching, of course. This is the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Micellar Water and it cleanses, removes makeup and hydrates. I've seen a couple people use this and it kind of intrigued me that it's water. All about it is that you can use it on your eyes I believe. Avoid getting into your eyes but you can use it around your eyes I'm sure. Um, but it's just um, really nice and you can just use it with like a little cotton pad. I've used it a lot and it's already, it's only like that much used. So I think that's really good and also it says that it hydrates um, and that it's for sensitive skin. So um, yeah, I really like it so far. Um, next thing is Faux Tan Body by um, Bare Minerals. And I work for Bare Minerals now, well kind of. Like I work in the Impulse Bare Minerals area. I am not technically hired by Bare Essentials, but that's where I am for the most part at my job. Um, it's really confusing and that's why I have yet to make a video on where I work and what is going on because everything's really confusing at my job right now. But basically if you came to the mall and you came to Macy's and were, to, were looking for me, you would find me behind the Bear Central's counter but technically I don't work for Bear Central's. It's weird. I'm getting off topic but anyway I've been using a lot of Bare Minerals products lately and this is one that I wanted to try because it's really inexpensive I think it was like $24, $26 and I love it. It doesn't make me orange which is a plus because I'm very fair so anything can make me orange. I really like it and I just bought like a $6 mitt from Sephora and I apply it with that so last for like hair care, skin care. Um, would be the L'Oreal um, Total Repair Damage Erasing Balm. I've had this multiple times before and I liked it. I had been using the It's a 10 deep conditioner for a little bit. don't think it's worth the money actually, so I don't like that one. So I just repurchased this one because I actually like this one. It does the same, if not better, than the It's a 10 one that's like $25. This is like 5 or 6 bucks or something like that. So I love this one. Um, so yeah, that's for hair. Yesterday I got this in the mail, which is the Dial a Smile um, Professional Home Teeth Whitening. Me and my boyfriend are really big into white teeth and having white teeth and oral hygiene just in general. Um, so we purchased this for us too and I used it last night. He has yet to use it. If you guys want to know more about my thoughts and stuff about the brand, um, then leave comments below. Um, because I could definitely make a full video um, on the products that I have from them. So I have this and then I guess that that I'll just move right on to like lip products because I purchased five lip products from them. Um, but I only purchased like two for myself and then three for were for my friend. Um, and I kept um, Buttercup and Tequila Sunrise and then I think for my friend I got her Nude um, Underground and 1995. I was just expecting these lipsticks to be a little less cheap feeling than they are. I, th I was expecting heavy duty packaging and all that stuff and I don't know. So I got Buttercup which looks like this and Tequila Sunrise which looks like that. Again if you want my thoughts on these products then just leave a comment below and I will make a separate video about the brand because I think I've gotten my thoughts processed and I think I know what I think of them. So what's on my lips right now is actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Gloss in the shade Hibiscus. And that's all I have on my lips. Can you even believe how pigmented this lip gloss is? Like, love it. So I got four of those. And the funny thing is, like, I went and purchased a bunch of the um, liquid lipsticks. Um, I have the liquid lipsticks in Electric Coral. Bambi, Milkshake, Pure Hollywood, and Spicy. So those are the lip liquid lipsticks that I got from her. These are the liquid lipsticks that I got. And they were having a deal at Macy's that day um, where if you purchased 
two liquid lipsticks or three liquid lipsticks or something like that then you got a lip gloss for free so i got the shade dollhouse for free and i thought that this was like the ugliest shade ever i thought this is never gonna look good on me and then one day i was running late for work and i just had to throw something on my lips so i just picked this up first out of my drawer and i put it on and then i went to work and i got so many compliments so then like i put a lip liner on with it and i started using it and i love it and then i love the smell the smell of these the smell is like cheesecake or like cake batter ice cream. Like, oh, they smell so good. That's really what got me. So then the other day, I went back and got three more glosses, which is Hibiscus, which is the one that I'm wearing, Dainty, and Candy Coral. So then these three. And I just love the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip products. I love them. So those are my babies right now slip product is the um melted the Too Faced melted in the shade melted melon and this is a pretty color it's um very neon actually it's really similar to what i'm wearing on my lips right now so yeah that is what i got at the drugstore and i stumbled across these um, these are the Wet n Wild um, like six pan eyeshadows. The shade California Roll, just because first of all I think that's like the cutest name, and second of all I really love like the red and the orange colors in them there. And then these colors on the top are really pretty too. Um, but I just think I just love these shadows because they're such good quality. And then I got the Vinyl Collection, which oh, these colors are so beautiful. Especially this one. This one's my favorite. But they're just really pretty. A while back, like this is probably one of my oldest purchases um, out of these, is the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 1 and La Palette Nude 2. They're really dirty. Um, I actually did a tutorial with La Palette um, Nude 2. I did that tutorial. That was my last video. So if you want to see that, I'll link that below. Um, but I really love these palettes. They're great quality. They were $20 a piece. Kind of stinks that... Um, it's like a more expensive product from the drugstore, but they're absolutely worth it. And they're, the packaging is like nice and sturdy. They're heavy feeling. And I enjoy like a heavy feeling product. Like that's just what I like. I feel like it's sturdy. It's nice. And I don't travel, so it doesn't matter to me if they're heavy or anything like that. But I just love the way that they're packaged. And I just love these palettes. I've been grabbing for these. Um, the L'Oreal Palette Nude 1 is the one that I'm wearing on my eyes today. I actually purchased from ColourPop. Every time they have something new come out, I'm like one of the first people on the website purchasing from them just because I love that company and that brand so much. So when the highlighters came out, I was literally on their first person on there, I'm sure. got five highlighters. So I got the shade Smoke and Whistles. Um, stole the show. Highly Wasted, ooh, Lunch Money, and Wisp, and I love them. They're actually, that's my inner corner highlight today. I actually didn't highlight my cheekbones today. <gasps> that's a sin. But the thing is with these, like, I really like them as eyeshadows, as inner corner highlights, even to highlight my nose a little bit, but I've yet to perfect them on my cheekbone. Um, certain foundations that I wear, it does eat straight through the foundation. Of course, not double wear, but, like, uh, the foundation that I'm wearing today, I wasn't sure if these were going to eat through the foundation, so I didn't put these on. I'd rather just be safer than sorry. So, I like these. Um, but I don't know if I love them yet. My boyfriend actually bought me the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone, which is pretty light, but I'm pretty fair for the most part unless I'm faux tanning. I like it. It's nice. But I don't... I like it, but I just... I'm... I've been tanner lately because I've been faux tanning, so... Um... I haven't been able to use this because... Um, it looks weird on like darker skin tones. Next is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo number two. Um, and my bronzer broke, which is probably the only con I have about this because it's like a jelly consistency. It's not powder. But um, I love the bronzer. I've been using the bejesus out of the bronzer because I just love it so much. And I like warm toned bronzers. But people have been complaining about how warm the bronzers are. But I don't use them to contour. I use them to bronze. So I want them to warm up my face. So I need them to be a little bit more warm in tone. And just reaching for other highlighters over this one. Not to say that this one isn't good. Um... Because it is, I just haven't used it a whole lot. 
just while we're on like highlighting and stuff um, I have these two highlighting powders so they're not like highlights for your cheekbones they're highlights for under the eyes um, and they're by Bare Minerals like powder concealers from the Bare Mineral line um, I have Well Rested and I have Summer Bisque. Um, these were just what fit in my skin shade. Like I just sat there and played um, with my counter ma my new counter manager. And these two looked best under my eyes out of all of their um, powder concealers. So I purchased these and I've been really loving both of them. I love Well Rested now because it has that... Um, yellow shade so it's going to highlight underneath the eye like a yellow powder would um, and I like it for when I'm a little bit more fair but I know in the summer I'm going to get a lot more use out of summer bisque so yeah brings us to I guess all my face products so I'll start with this little um, Smashbox primer water um, I obviously have used it all I only have a little bit left um, in the bottom and this is like it's it's nice I mean I didn't see a difference with my makeup, or it, like lasting longer or being locked in place or anything like that or even priming my face before. I think it just feels good to get some hydration in your face, um, whether it's before or after your makeup. So that's really what I use it for. I use it to like refresh. Um, I don't use this to prime my skin by any means. Um, speaking of hydrating, I'm really into hydrating stuff. I do not need anything in my skincare. Um, to mattify me because I'm not oily at all. I'm like normal to dry skin. I bought the e.l.f. hydrating face primer and it says it fills in five li fine lines and moisturizes with vitamins A, C, and E. Um, and when I, I tried this on my face once um, and I didn't see a difference. It didn't hydrate or anything like that. And then I tried it on the back of my skin and it's just a silicone primer. It just feels like their original primer because I've tried that in the past before and it just feels like their original primer so I don't know if they're just slapping the logo hydrating on it to get people to buy it um but I just didn't like this but my friend said that she enjoyed this um so I guess it's to each their own right I got the elf bb cream um and I have yet to try this so I can't give you guys my thoughts on this um I've only swatched it and the color seems pretty good for me what color is this? I don't have the color on it, but um, I swatched the color like on my hand. It seems pretty good, um, but I will keep you guys posted if you guys want to know um, how the e.l.f. BB cream works. I'll make sure that when I test it out, I can tell you guys. And I have the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue in the shade Natural 5, um, and I just cannot, like, this stuff is, like, almost gone. I cannot get enough of this stuff. Like, I don't wear this on days where I'm doing like a full face of makeup, um, only because it's not meant for that. It's really not a makeup. Um, it's more like a tinted hydrating gel cream, as they say. I wear this like really early in the morning, like when I go to the gym and I don't want to look as pale or as dead, or if I've got my neck tanned and my whole body tanned and then my face is really white. I don't want to go to the gym like that because some people there just won't understand and they'll just think like I'm a weirdo. So I just put this all over my face, it just evens my skin out with my neck and it just makes everything so nice. So I love this stuff, it's just a lifesaver for that and it feels really good on the skin and it's just really, really, really nice. So I love, love, love this stuff. The thing is, I was seeing with a lot of reviews on this that people were applying it with their fingers and while you can do that, you're not going to get the same effect as if you did with like a stippling or duo fiber brush or even the brush that comes with it or even the brush that's sold with it. So I would definitely say to apply this with a brush. If you're doing it with your fingers, you're not going to notice the same sort of effect that this gives. Next is the Custom Cover Drops by Cover FX. Um, and I have this in the shade G40. And I love this. I've been mixing it with everything. I've been mixing it with foundations. My Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, I tried it and tried it and tried it. And I hate it. And I just feel awful for hating a $62 foundation. So when I got... I got these purposely to mix in with the Giorgio Armani to give it a little bit more coverage and um, to make it my right shade because I kept going back to the Nordstrom that I purchased it at and this woman could not match my shade for the life of her and the lighting in Nordstrom is like so dim and obnoxious like worse the worst lighting I've ever seen in a store before and I just kept getting the wrong shade but it was so annoying to have to keep going far to a Nordstrom and then annoying them and being annoyed myself so I just kind of gave up the ghost and I ended up with the shade let me see 
4.75 is not my shade at all. I hate this shade on me. But when I mix it with um, G40 from the Custom Cover Drops, it, it's like my life. I love these two together now. So the thing that I got, but probably one of the things that I was like the most excited about out of everything that I purchased is the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. As you can see, I've loved this quite a bit. Um, thinking of doing a review slash demo of how I use the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit um, because so weird, um, like I really didn't want this at all um, because I had seen a couple of the bigger YouTubers say how they don't like it um, by itself, it's not creamy, um, there are better things out there and things like that but in all honesty I was thinking about not purchasing this and then I had just seen it in store and I just thought I'm gonna get it I'm gonna try it out if I don't like it I'll return it um, because it's $40 and guys I am so glad that I ended up buying it because it really is a great 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 palette so if you want to know my review the pro like pros and cons of this palette then comment below and let me know and of course I want to hear your guys' feedback um, like what you want reviews on or what you want to know a little bit on or anything like that. That is my haul and everything. Of course, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't take my number, don't want your number.